So, an awful lot of people have been asking for this one, and I can't imagine why. Aren't guitar players the core members of most metal bands? You know, those gifted songwriters and virtuosos who possess a keen sense of fair play and teamwork? Yeah, I don't think I've ever met one of those guys either. For the rest of us who have to put up with those self-indulgent wankers, this is how to not completely suck at heavy rock guitar. Alright, I have been kicking this one around for quite a while, but I really didn't know where to start. Guitar players don't normally suck in the traditional way that most bass players do. For the most part, guitar players usually know how to play their instrument. At least that's been my experience when it comes to recording bands. Most guitar players do have their shit together. But the other day, someone was nice enough to share this clip with me, and that's when I realized that guitar players can suck on a completely different level. Check this out. What do you even begin with that? I mean, this guy is in such a hurry to show the world how absolutely incredibly amazing he is that he couldn't even be bothered with the petty trivialities that mere mortals like the rest of us concern ourselves with. Like tuning his fucking instrument. I mean, seriously, by Crom's sweaty balls. What the fuck is this kid trying to prove? I mean, let's take another look at this. Now, I don't know what you guys think about this, but to me, there's nothing musical about this. This is just jerking off with a guitar. Well, look at how fast I can play. Yeah, you know what, that's so impressive. I can imagine Kirk Hammett saying when he sees this, wow, why didn't I think of that when we recorded one? This is so much better than what I did. I tell you, this kid is headed for the fucking cover of Rolling Stone magazine. I'm not saying don't shred. If you've got the chops, that's great. You're better than me. But guitar is only one element in a much bigger picture when it comes to metal. And blowing your load all over the fucking place at every opportunity gets real boring real fast. And that's why I've never been to an Ingve concert. Let me put it bluntly, a guitar should support the song where needed and solo where appropriate. A little restraint goes a long way. Self-indulgent wank fest like this should never be video recorded, much less shared on the internet because this shit does not go away. Personally, I think I'd rather listen to that kid from Final Placement do his thing. Okay, maybe not. That is just a completely different level of suck. Hell, that's approaching bass player levels of incompetence. Guys, I get it. You want that successful music career. And that's absolutely fine. But it doesn't matter how much you pray for it to happen. If you don't practice as a band, it will never work. Please get your songs down before recording them or making a video. Trust me, they'll turn out better. And I do have to give props to the drummer from that band for only sticking around for two takes in the making of that video. He was the smart one in that band by getting the fuck out of there. But not only should you learn your songs before recording, you should also learn them before hitting the stage. Here's why. Practicing your guitar. Not only does it help avoid the embarrassment of being a horrible guitar player, it also helps avoid onstage violence. Now look, I am not saying you've got to be an amazingly technical player or an amazing band right out of the gate. Play in your basement, play in your garage, take your time and be awful. Because if you stick at it, eventually you're gonna get better. 
The trick is knowing when you're actually ready for public consumption versus just wanting it. If you can shred and the rest of your band members are behind, work with them to make it happen because you're only gonna be as good as your weakest player. And guitar players, please remember, you don't have to micromanage everything. There are other members in your band that can help share the workload. Look, I get it. Your rampaging ego demands that every single aspect of your band meets your exacting quality control standards. But handing off certain menial tasks can reduce your stress. Just don't ask the bass player to do anything more complicated than hold a door open. And if you are playing guitar in a major touring act, please remember to tell your tech well in advance of when the band is going to be playing new material. That way he'll know where in the song to switch your rig from clean to dirty. Because if you only give him two hours notice, he'll have to rig up a foot switch for you. And then when you're playing in front of thousands of people, you'll ever so skillfully miss the switch and make an ass out of yourself. Not mentioning any names, of course, but you damn well know who you are. Remember kids, plan your set well in advance and let your crew in on it. They're there to help. So bottom line here is don't be a wanker, but make sure you can play your instrument as well. You can master your instrument, but still suck if you insist on soloing over everything. Skill balanced with restraint is far more entertaining than just pure technical prowess. You can play fast, Great, now go write a song that people will remember.